Welcome back. Before we get started with Redux Toolkit, let us know how Redux works. All right. So in Redux, we call something action. Reducer. Dispatch and store. We are going to repeat these terms as many times as we proceed in this lesson. So if we are familiar with Redux, this might be a little bit easy for you to understand. All right, so let's continue. So when you say action or action creator, what does it mean? And when you say reducer, what does it mean? And when you say dispatch, what does it mean? And when you say store, what does it mean? All right, so let's take this real life example when it comes to banking. And we're going to use this scenario to explore these terminologies. All right, so when we say action, what does it mean? So action is what you want to take. So let's take it that this is a banking system and we have a customer, okay? And then we have a, a teller and then we have a store where all our money are kept. Your money are, and your resources details are kept here. So this store contains the details of all or the records of a, a customer and a customer account has biography or whatever are all saved inside this store, right? So the action, always the customer takes an action, right? So action creator is nothing, it's what you want to do. So let's take it that in the morning, you just woke up and said, okay, well, I don't have some money. Therefore, let me go to my bank and withdraw some money, right? So that way is what you call action what you want to take, right? And before you take any action, you, you ask yourself, what kind of action do you want to take? And this is what you call action type, right? So this action type determine the kind of action you want to take. So let's take it that for you, we have these action types, withdraw, deposit, and register, right? So these are the action types. Now, we know what is called action type. The action type determines the kind of action you want to take, right? And then the next one will be the payload. The payload is what you want to use to carry on on your action. So let's take it that if you want to withdraw some money, you, you ask yourself how much money you want to withdraw. That becomes your payload, right? And if you want to make deposit, how much money you want to deposit? To deposit is called payload so we have action type determine the action type you want to take and the load the data you want to cost change to is called the payload so let's take it that you are going to zero money the type of action is deposit that's your action type and then your payload how much you want to deposit becomes your payload all right so you walk gently to the teller right now here comes another term called reducer so reducer is a function, right? That first looks up your action type and the payload that you are having, and then it will cause a change in your store. So always reducer looks at the action type, then it makes changes to the store. So here you have your details here in this store, your biography, the amount of data, amount of money you have here, so let's take it that the action type is deposit and let's take it we have amount of 500 us dollars here and then you want to deposit let's say 200 dollars to making 700 right so you go to the bank and then you tell the okay, reducer or teller um i want to make deposit to the bank and my action type is deposit okay wow let me check previously you have 500 dollars in your account now you want to deposit 200 right so in all it makes what 700 so the reducer will take the actions always remember reducer takes an action type and a payload you have right and make the logic calculations here and then it will send to the store so now this reducer here we have an action so within that before it can make changes to the store 
it needs to dispatch. To dispatch is also, let me say, it's an action or a transporter or that takes your reducer logic and send to the store to make the changes. So as soon as it dispatch to the store, it has taken the data from the reducer to the store and makes the necessary changes in the store. And then it will notify the customer. The customer here becomes the component in our React application, right? And as soon as it makes changes to our store, it notify the component, right? So that, okay, hey, this person has deposited this amount of money and we all know about that. Wow. So that's all what um, Redux works behind the scene. To understand what is action type, the takeaway in this video is know what is action type, reducer, dispatch, and store. So as you proceed, you'll be exploring other terms as well. So if still doesn't seem to be clear, don't worry. As you proceed with code, I'll be explaining what all these terms work together. The next video, we are going to start with Redux Toolkit.